We're going to do three recipes. We're doing a Madeira cake, which is recipe one with a lemon frosting. I've got butter, 175 grams, okay? I've got caster sugar, 155 grams. Now I'm going to zest some lemons. Now when you're zesting lemons, you don't want the white bits. The white bits are the ones that cause it, that makes it bitter. I only want the skin where the oils are, right? Please zest before you squeeze the lemon, yeah? Okay, so now we need three eggs. I'm going to leave them first. They've been sitting outside, so they're ideally nice and room temperature-ish. I'm going to wait for Navita. Now, this is self-raising flour, guys. When you are taking the flour, there's two tubs there. One is self-raising and one is plain flour. It is clearly written plain flour and self-raising flour. Do not put the wrong flour into the wrong bin. Is that cool? Yes. So if you don't have self-raising flour at home and you only have plain flour but you have baking powder, you can make your own self-raising flour. Okay, that's why we never mix it. So now, in baking, you always, always, always sift. All right, when I tell you not to sift, it is a bonus. You must sift for a few reasons. There might be lumps, right? Or there might be stuff in there. When there's lumps, if you don't sift in your cake, when you're trying to cut your cake after it's cooked, you're going to get chunks of flour falling off. It, the, the oven's not going to cook the flour out for you. All right? So, I need 115 self-raising flour. Thank you, my dear. You don't have to sift flour. Uh, don't have to sift caster sugar. You don't have to sift the almond meal. Is that cool? I've seen people sifting iced, um, caster sugar. You don't have to. Okay. So this one, I'm going to add the dry ingredients in here, except for the sugar, yeah? So 65 grams of almond meal. All right, just a level spoon in there. I'm going to leave it. Now, you want to use this when you're creaming. So usually most cakes, we use this. All right, can you wash this for me? Then I have a whisk, which is the one that's sitting right there. The whisk is when you're using sponge. So for recipe number three, we're going to use that. Guys, recipe number three, uh, so right paddle so you know you don't use the wrong thing. It makes a world of difference when you use the wrong um, stuff. Now, my sugar and my butter is going to go in here. Now, um, I want my butter nice and soft. I don't like to put it into the microwave because 9 out of 10 times, you tend to melt the butter. And when you do that, it does affect it. So melted butter is different to soft butter, yeah? So, I'm going to take all my ingredients. So, guys, when you are doing a cake, just make sure all your ingredients are measured. Do not put your cream and your butter and then start measuring the rest. Measure everything, bring it to, the, to your bench and then start. Exactly. It will take a while because the butter is not quite soft. I will show you every bit of the way. I'm not going to add my lemon just yet until I cream my butter and my sugar, yeah? I'm just going to add my lemon zest first. Um, when you're creaming butter and sugar, you can go as high as you want and it's not a problem. The moment you start adding eggs, you'll need to add it, you'll need to lower your speed because egg acts as a tenderizer in a cake. So if you overbeat it, your cake's gonna come up very hard, dense. That makes sense? So, usually what I do when I'm adding eggs is I add eggs, I add one egg at a time, and in between, I add the measured flour. That's why I like to measure my flour. 
because then it will not pre it will prevent my cake from curdling because of the difference in temperature. Does that make sense? Because if my egg is cold, a lot of the a lot of the time it's going to curdle the egg, the butter, and the sugar. Okay, so curdle essentially means it looks like it's spoiled, and I will show you. I've got three eggs here. I'm going to do one at a time. So just one at a time. And I'm going to lower my speed. And then I'm just going to add some of the flour that I've already measured. Just some, not all. So you don't mix it too much. I add my next round of eggs. And I do the same. Now, usually before I add the next egg, I like to scrape down any bits that are here, um, especially the bottom of the bowl, yeah? And then I add a little bit more flour, just very little. All right, lastly, I'm going to add my last egg. Okay, so now what I am going to do is scrape it all down. Okay. Now, this is what happens. I've mixed my egg. There's still a little bit of egg. I'm going to mix it. Now, this is what I am going to do. I'm going to add it in three parts. So three times and three times, alternate. First with flour, then with lemon juice, flour, lemon juice. Actually, twice, three times. You finish off with flour. So flour once, half of this, flour half, finish it up, and then finish up with the flour. Okay, so it needs to be quite quick on low speed, so that's there. So just make sure the flour is sort of into the batter before you add your lemon juice. All right, then I'm gonna have half my lemon juice. I'm gonna add my the other half of my flour. And I wrap the rest of my lemon juice. Now, before I add the rest of the flour, I'm going to scrape the sides down because there's flour on the side. Cold, it's curdled. And I'm going to finish it off with the rest of the flour. Yours is going to look better than this, for sure. All right. Well, they're going to empty it. See how mine looks a bit curdled? Because I didn't get a chance to cream it as much as I'd like to. So you just want to smoothen it out. And that's it. It's ready to go into the oven. Is that cool? Okay, you only need half a lemon. What I want you to do is very thinly slice it because you're going to candy it. Um, now, what I want to do is I'm going to 
blanch it in hot water for a little while. I'm going to blanch it in hot water. That means drop the lemon slices into the hot water. In the meantime, I'm also going to do a sugar syrup. I have 60 grams of sugar and, sorry, 100 grams of sugar and 60 grams of water. Okay, then I'm going to make a sugar glaze. Now, I want to kind of slice this nice and thin. Take out the seeds when you can. The recipe says to use just the zest, but I think it's prettier if you use the whole lemon slice. Now, I am going to take out the seeds though. So essentially the reason why I am boiling it is to take away the bitterness of the lemon. You know the white bits? So this white pith, it's called P-I-T-H, it's the bitter bit, bitter bit of the lemon. So I'm trying to just boil out the bitterness so that when I drop it in there, I've got the nice tang and not the bitter. So just till the sugar dissolves, yeah? Don't, doesn't have to be boiling. My sugar is still not quite boiled. All right, I'm just going to take it out now. This, you can all share this, yeah? All right, so it's now boiling. Turn the fire down. My sugar is dissolved. I'm just going to drop them all in there. Whoops. Now it's sugar and water, so don't get burnt. I got burnt by sugar the, yesterday, last week, and I'm still nursing a scar from it. I'm just going to leave it for a little while. Let it caramel, uh, let it sort of um, absorb a lot of the sugar. I'm just going to transfer it back here. Please don't touch your fingers. Please, it's sugar. So about five minutes, you let it steep in the sugar. And then we take it out and let it cool down in the baking paper. Is that cool? I'm just going to take it out and just leave it on my baking paper like so. That's for the garnish for later. Okay, so just leave it to cool down. The sugar syrup can be binned. I'm going to let that cool. So I've, I've done that. It's come out clean. All right, so I'm just going to let it cool. Leave it in the tin. Let it cool down. We'll ice it later. Cool? Yes? Yeah. There is a difference between icing sugar and... Sorry, pure icing sugar and icing sugar mixture. So icing sugar mixture has corn flour in it. So um, it, the corn flour actually stops the icing sugar from clumping up. Um, if you buy, if you use anything that requires pure icing sugar and you use icing sugar mixture, it changes the consistency of your product. So it's like if you use icing sugar mixture in a pastry, it turns grey because the corn flour. So Icing sugar mixture is cheaper in the supermarket. Icing sugar, pure icing sugar is more expensive. Now, the only reason why I didn't order pure icing sugar mixture is because then everyone will use it. So I've ordered icing sugar, pure. You can make your own icing sugar mixture. You just got to add for every cup, it is one tablespoon of corn flour. So you have four and a half. So you need four and a half. Uh, can I have a sift? Thank you. Two. Three. You won't taste the icing sugar mixture, uh, the, the corn flour at all. Four and a half. Done. Now, your recipe for recipe number one, what does it say? You gotta make an icing to go on the top of your cake, yeah? So it's one and a half cups. I've got four and a half cups to two tablespoons. So it's six spoons of lemon juice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to mix the corn flour in first. Jacqueline is attempting to pour six tablespoons of lemon juice without 
overdoing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I want to make is a paste. Now, it is a bit runny, but if you actually let it sit um, on the top of the cake, it will set really nice, yeah? So always less is more. I hope you like lemons. Okay, so there's enough for all of you here. So what I want to do is just drizzle it on the top. Guys, if you're going to throw it away, please give it to someone before you throw it away, yeah? Throw it away. The cake. I'm sure somebody will take it home. Um, God, I hate it when people put it straight in the bin because they're lazy to take it home or they don't have a container. I always want to know how to make this. Icing? All right, it's going to drip off anyways, so you don't have a choice. And then you can, that was mine, wasn't it? This is a bread knife or a serrated knife, right? So all I want to do is I might want to cut. There we are. There we are. And then I'm just going to slice this up. Anybody wants to try? Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. You with me? Yeah. Oh. Last chance before I offer them quick. <laughs> 